What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are actually going to work on a few of the Corvettes that we got a few days ago. Um, we got one in the garage right now, unloading the other ones, probably pull at least one more in here and then start working on them. This is the 65 right here, convertible, numbers match car, white interior, I actually believed to be original paint. I will go into detail with that here in a little bit. My dad's probably waiting on me to help unload the rest of these. Here are the other two. Which one do you want to take inside? This one or the big black? Didn't take long for the cat to get in here. This thing's got like 70 seats in it. 70, 71 seats. I don't know what we got going on here. We're checking fuel mileage. Or miles on the car. I don't know what we're doing. Snow brush, that's never good to see in a Corvette. I believe this car is probably one of the last ones that they drove because this was last plated in 91. And then she was telling stories about how she drove this thing to work. Um, so I believe this car is probably the most recently ran and drove car whether it's gonna actually run and drive i don't know but it is complete probably one of the more complete cars too um besides that car need to push this thing out of the way this one matches the car that we put the tunnel ram on these two will fit right in right next to each other but uh, gotta push that thing out of the way so we get the big block out and that's gonna go in the garage she's finally coming now Keep on coming. All right. Somebody in the comments told me how rare a 66 coupe with headrests is. This car has headrests. All right, just got the coupe off the trailer. So we come back in here to talk about this 65. Um, white interior. Somebody put this ugly wood grain stuff on it all over the place. But uh, this is a numbers match high horsepower car. As you can see, everything is complete. And right there, you can kind of see where that's why we believe it's original paint. Because there is no paint underneath there, just the red primer. This is a numbers match motor. Somebody put some valve covers on it at some point in time. I don't know if we'll be able to show you, but down there, you might be able to see it. My eyes suck. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's 8215 is the number. And then go down here to the event number. And it is, oh, that's a 9215 because we got 9215 right there. Sweet little eight track player. I mean, everything is here. This whole car is complete. Hard top and everything. So what do we got back there? I don't even look. Some speakers, another snow scraper. Why did this guy drive these things in the snow so much? I guess they were just normal cars back then, but still. Have no idea if the miles are original on it. it says 69,000, possibly could be original miles all right we're supposed to be working outside but it's hot and i got distracted which happens easily found these pictures this is must be him with the green 66 no i'm lying that's not the green 66 green 66 is in the background that's like a 64 um that car is on the trailer i haven't showed it to you guys yet that is the green 66 there it is again. There it is again with something else. Oh, that's the 65 convertible that I've already showed you guys. And then a Cadillac. She did say they had Cadillacs. Again, the green 66. There's the 65 and the 66. Motor out of, I'm guessing, the 66 since that's a big block and that's the only big block he had. 
And there's the 66, possibly before, got the motor put in. The bumpers are off. He must have painted it the green. So it is originally a silver car. Um, got painted green. Maybe he's the one that painted it green. I don't know. But I also have more pictures. Hold on a second. Now here is the, I don't even know what year this car is. I don't, uh, I didn't see the title. It's got a 65 or 6 front end on it. Um, like 63 gauges in it, I believe. This car looks exactly the same as this right outside. Actually looks really good in the pictures. This might be a 63. I don't remember. But this is a bunch of pictures of this thing. Yep, there's the engine in it. See, it's got like 63 or 64 door panels on it. Yeah, 63 gauges. This might be a 63. I know we got a couple 63s. Yeah, this car looks exactly the same. All right, that is the car that I just showed you guys pictures of. The paint doesn't look near as nice. But that was probably every bit of 30 years ago. Possibly more. Possibly close to 35. I found a receipt where he took it somewhere for some ball joints in 89. Um, did just confirm this is a 63. They put a front end on it. Um, 65 front end. But it's not a factory front end. Because it doesn't have the provisions for the corner lights. You can see they're actually inside there. Instead of hanging out. Um like on that blue car but we'll go to the blue car next so i think he painted this car in his garage i just found pictures of it all apart and no paint on it um did have a motor in it and by the pictures we did confirm which motor came out of it we haven't actually ran the numbers yet but judging by everything else that this guy had this is probably a numbers match motor um we unloaded like six motors out of the back of the truck the other day and did not look in all of them just yet to run the numbers, but uh, almost all the parts are for this car are here. I know in the last video you saw us carrying up blue interior for this car. We believe this is a L79 because of the tack right there with air, but we don't exactly know. Can't see that it did have AC. Um, Let's see what else. I don't know what else I could tell you about this thing, honestly. It did not have side pipes. You can see those pieces right here. But somebody put side pipes on it at one point in time, I believe, and pulled these pieces all the way out. This is also a sign of a car not having side pipes because this is where this piece bolted on is right here. Um, another thing you can do is look at the exhaust to tell you that it doesn't have side pipes but uh other than that this thing is actually a very nice car we've laid around it doesn't look like it's had any body repairs um the inside is super nice all factory body panels it appears to be um this thing it's actually a pretty nice body it's probably more of a project than we need right now but you can't find the bodies like this anymore um a no hit body what we believe if somebody fixed it they did a heck of a good job at it even the frame i mean it's got some scale and some nasty but it's not rusty probably because this is the only car we've found that doesn't have an ice scraper in it yet it's actually a, a pretty nice car so we're actually going to shove this car um into one of the containers for right now because we don't have room for it um plan is to try to get these three going these two and then the one inside and then uh, start on those i don't know what exactly we're gonna do this car right here is another 63 um i don't know why he couldn't have a 63 coupe but he likes 63 convertibles for some reason i did find a couple 63 coupe pictures and all the pictures that i just went through but uh right here is a 63 convertible um somebody told me how you can id the engine with uh the gauge cluster red line at 6500 i don't know exactly what engine this had by 327 i don't know if this has a numbers match motor in it or not a lot of his stuff did 
Let's see, this is a 9132. And fancy little door latch we got going on here. 9132, yes sir. So this is a numbers match 63 convertible. Everything this guy had was numbers match, so he really did a good job at keeping all the original engines and stuff. Probably why he kept these certain cars. Um, a lot of parts in here, a lot missing a lot of parts though. Uh, we do have this deck lid piece. Um, we've got like five or six of those. Interior, I believe we have the interior to every car. Um, we have a lot of parts to a lot of these things. We just got to go through it, separate them for each car. Um, this trailer lost three tires on the way back, but to give you a quick overview of what's in here. This is kind of mostly junk. I mean, not junk. Don't get me wrong. None of this is actually junk, but a uh, bunch of stuff in here. Bunch of stuff. Tops noses seats hoods seats gauge clusters blown out tires um we've even got doors convertible doors intakes i mean this trailer is loaded down and this trailer is very heavy it's gonna wrap up showing you the cars so we're gonna put these things away 66 coupe will be sleeping with the c7 z06 that one day we'll get to finishing this thing had a f1x pro charge 416 cubic inch lt4 and it grenaded itself and we actually bought it from the insurance auctions but the 66 coupe and the 63 convertible will uh, find a sleeping place in here until we get time to finish them oh let me turn it This thing's got soaking wet yesterday. All right, we're out of YouTube mode and into get in the garage mode because it looks like it is gonna storm bad. Um, so I haven't been filming as much. We've got all but the big block inside. I wonder if the brakes work. Oh, nope, I can't stop, I got nothing. Put this thing in gear. Brake pedal as hard as a rock. This is the 63 convertible with the flares on it. We went and bought oil for all these, just some cheap junk oil, some Rotella or whatever. Gonna put oil in them, get them running, but probably not in this video. And then last, but certainly not least, the old 66 big block. She going in prime parking spot. See if we can't get her running first. All right, that was a uh, that was a struggle. It has not rained yet, but it is close. But the 66 coupe is inside, ready to be worked on. So we're gonna do a probably video on this, video on that, and then we'll do a video on the 63 convertible. I keep calling it Tunnel Ram's a brother. Um, you guys know the car we put. The tunnel ram on that we call tunnel ram i don't know we come up with some stupid names but we're trying to get this old girl running too so right now i'm gonna go try to park some trailers before it really starts downpouring and then probably go home and finish editing the video when we got these cars so you guys can hopefully see that here tonight but be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see all these things running and driving go check out the last video that i haven't yet finished editing right now um, that's the video of us digging these things out of the garage, bringing them to sunlight for who knows how long, at least at least 30 years on all of them. Um, maybe 40, maybe 50 years on some of them. Um, we don't exactly know. Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap this video up. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.